Hello, these are Axel Chinese. Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. Uh, we just got done gathering a bunch of resources, so we are going to go ahead and make some materials here. Okay, we'll need glass, just need silicone. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the silicone. grab that. What else do we need here? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and make that repair tool. <clears throat> and we'll make that glass. And I think we needed the battery and the glass to make the... Yeah, I need that battery. That's what I thought. Oops, I didn't want to climb the ladder. Oh well. We get to be treated to that little animation. I'll try to come up here when the explosion... I'm sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm really bad at that, I do apologize. But I'll try to go back up there uh, when certain events happen. What else do I need? I still have never ever made the Pathfinder tool. Sea Glide, I need a battery and lubricant. Battery and lubricant. Mm. No, that'll have to do for meow. I really need to do something. Let's just consume it. Ooh, rotten. Vital signs stabilizing. <clears throat> nah, I did. I did get some salt. Uh, we'll have to grab some table coral, or not some table coral, some of the other stuff. Um, we'll need some more of these acid shrooms. At least two. And I am gonna need some more stuff for lubricant. And I think we have copper, but I may need to get some more copper. I normally build a couple of containers right off the get-go. I'm going to try to avoid that this time. That should be enough for cre uh, lubricant. And complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Good. I love being healthy. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Okay. Yep, we got copper. And we needed, what, I think it was some silicone rubber. And I'm not sure what else we needed. Let's see what else we needed. Okay, battery and titanium. Just one? Just one. The Sea Glide, yeah. So helpful. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay, what do we really need at this point other than to scan some more stuff down? Um, we could do with the rebreather wiring kit and fiber mesh. 
do we have the two silver ore, or we need to get more? Yeah. Oh, and we are going to need food and water here soon. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do something about that. start to get serious about uh, resource collecting here. Are you kidding me? Ah! There we go. I don't like how green the light is makes it a little harder to see things. You have to, like, look for the shadows. Oh, that is a pretty vast cave system there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if we did have the uh, Pathfinder tool. Let's go get this message so we can go ahead and start tracking down some coordinates. Oh, but let's get some coral before we go. should be enough. <clears throat> I wonder if you're supposed to be able to grab those gas pods. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Seek fluid intake. Oh, I'm seeking it. Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. Hmm. A nice healthy supply of stuff going here. Let's keep that copper separate. No, we don't want flares. No, we don't want first aid. Prepare the day's water ration ahead of time. Will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Yeah, we should do some more batteries. Vital signs stabilizing. Mm. I guess it doesn't hurt to just make one, right? Check them out. Check, check, check them out. That's four more batteries right there. I will need to get some food, so maybe I will catch some fish here soon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> I think we pretty much have everything that we can get right now. Oh, I do need to be scanning stuff in this biome. Grab a little bit more salt. this sandstone Can't wait for the sun to come up. Man, damn creep line, I can't see anything. Oh, there's another one. Another radio message. It is your prime and directive to stay close to your heaven. What was that? It was like trying to convince me to go closer to it. My primary directive to go closer to the vine. That's scary. I don't like that. Not one bit. Do I see some salt over here? No. What? Get off me, bro. I think what I ought to do at some point is, uh, is like save it right before getting close to the that vine and test it out and see what's going on. Just kind of break myself of that fear. What is all this over here? Ooh. Shroom cave. Oh, Zima. suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Integrating new PDA data. Scanner room fragment? Just... All kinds of stuff. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff I need to get over in this area. Up, up and away! That's why I need the rebreather. Do to do to do, where is everything? Those sharks are just crazy. Ooh. Oh. Is 
it's a, this one, eh? A wreck. Nice big wreck. Battery charger. Not bad, not bad. I do need a beacon, though. That would be nice to have a beacon. Another scanner room fragment. I'm gonna go up like a tuna. Like a tuna! And this should be the third piece for the scanner room. That rebreather. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Bioreactor is good. More scanner room fragments, it looks. <clears throat> See if I can go through this wreck fast enough. <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff to scan in here for me right now. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, battery charger. Laser cutter. Oh, oh, right here. Oh. I'll have to kind of try to clear the rest of the stuff here in a second. I'm not sure if this is the only entrance into this wreckage or not. Uh, we'll have to see. Is that another laser cutter? I think it is. Oh, that's Mobile Bay. Okay. I think this is, yeah. Get a floodlight, you know, you know. I think that is it for this wreck, unless the, I'm missing something completely. And then I hope you guys can tell me in your comments, because uh, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Oh, reef back. I wonder if I should check out that cave at all. Let's see what's down me out. <clears throat> and I guess it uh, won't hurt to try it. Oh, 
a floater. We got a floater. Hmm. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I don't have the rebreather. I can't really stay down here. A jelly shroom. It's just too deep. Too deep right now. to you, don't I? Guess I'll head back all the while looking for stuff. More Silva. That's another wiring kit. Oh, come on, Seamoth. I need one more Seamoth fragment. There's got to be another one. Oh, come on. Yes. Let's go build a Seamoth, shall we? Um. Do we have enough room? Yeah, let's grab some titanium, because I know I'm going to need at least, what, two ingots, probably? That'll work. I'll need a power cell, so let's grab those. We got a couple more minutes um, left in this episode, so hopefully we can get it going. We do need to do the mobile vehicle bay also. Uploaded to PDA. Leaf silicon rubber. Don't know if we'll need the wiring kit. I believe we will. I think we'll need the glass. Maybe even a computer chip. Um, oh, we need lubricant. Okay. Goodness me. And I will need a lot more titanium. Okay. Need some lubricant. should be enough for one thing of lubricant. I should have made space in my inventory. In fact, I will. There we go, we got the mobile vehicle bay. 
we'll go deploy that, and then we'll make sure what we need for the Seamoth. See how much longer it'll take us, if we'll be able to get it in this episode. Okay, so we need one more glass, lubricant, titanium ingot, and another power cell. That's what I thought. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I need more lubricant, more titanium. And I have the copper for power cells, I think. Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Yeah, that should be enough for the ingot. Oh, we're almost, I think we're going to get it in this episode. This will be almost maybe a record for me, getting, getting it in the first hour. is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regrouped one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, at least we know where dry land is now. Rubber. Okay, I think this is it. Sea moss. Okay, what do we need? Lead. The sea moth is a fast boom. There we go. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. that'll be it for this episode. I want to thank you very much for tuning in, uh, and I hope you'll join me again in the next episode.